Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today I have another Tomica Town review for you. This is the Tomica Town Gasoline Stand Eneos. And I'm assuming Eneos must be like a um, popular chain of gas stations over in Japan. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I have to assume because it's so prominent that it probably is. I know they do have one of these that I've already reviewed that's an actual 7-Eleven. So they can use brand names. Obviously they must get licensing rights in some way. Um, but basically, this is from the older set, or older line of Tomica Town, where they didn't have the all the pegs uh, and peg holes with the build city that they've kind of implemented in the older line. And I personally kind of prefer this older line, just because it comes with like sidewalk pieces and ramp pieces that are a lot better integrated into the base plates uh, than the newer line. But I'll show you what I mean when we get to that. So here's the front of the box. You can see the gas station uh, has two pumps and it has a car wash in the back and then like a little store. It says service room, um, but we'll take a look at that as we get there. Take a look at the top, just kind of shows you some of the features. Push the button and the doors open. You can uh, use the knob on the side to change the kind of gasoline. Door on the side, there's a credit card feature, car wash, all pretty cool. And this just shows you all the different ways you can arrange it. Taking a look on this side, pretty basic. And this is just a kind of parts count list to show you all the things that are included. And as you can see, it does come with a figure. The older line for Tomica Town did come with figures and it had the little placeholders for the figures and I'll show you all that as well. So let's go ahead, get this out of the package and we'll take a closer look. So here is the Aeneas gas station. You can see there is the large sign out front that would tell you the various prices, but for whatever reason they're just black, I guess if you want to make up your own prices or they didn't want to commit to any prices because that would kind of date it. Uh, it does say open 24 hours. Uh, this says, I assume this is self-service because that's Sodafu, so I assume that means they don't have attendance. So basically, here is the service room in the back. And this is, I can take this off just so that the light can get it in a little bit better. So you can kind of see all the various features. Here's the little figure that comes with it. I love these little figures. They're kind of basic, but I don't know why I really, really like them. <laughs> you can see he's got an Aeneas uh, cap. And the arms can move forward and down and then you can bend 90 degrees pretty much standard articulation for these little Tomica Town figures but I like it a lot so I'm gonna put him off to the side for a moment um, I guess the easiest thing to do would probably be take each section off and show you how that works so if you've seen some of my other reviews that have the newer like build city motif they have a ton of peg holes around and everything just like snaps and connects similar to like how Legos work. Uh, the way the older system used to work is you just had these little modules and then they just kind of laid in these bigger trays. So you can see here, this is just a large tray and then you would just take this module and just kind of sit it in the tray and then you would take the other module and sit that in. Very simple. I mean, obviously if you turn it upside down, it's going to fall out, but I feel like you're going to set this up and then, you know, it can just sit in the tray. I don't need that, um, all the peg holes. Plus, I don't like the look of all the peg holes around. I kind of like this simpler look. And they also include these sidewalk panels. Here you can see the sidewalk. It's like the, um, you know, a normal divot for a car in a sidewalk, which looks a lot more natural than just those straight ramps they have for the build uh, city stuff. Um, you have some street signs you can plug in, you have a street lamp over here, a little railing section, you have a little plant here, and of course you can move these around and you could plug them in wherever you want, anywhere there's a little peg hole, you could go ahead and put that in. And then you have these little, uh, footholds for the figures. They're very simple, they're just little tabs, and all you do is put the figure on and just kind of wedges in between their feet. Very simple, but it works. It does what it needs to do. Uh, taking a look at one of the gas pumps. Now both gas pumps are the same except for the stickers. You can see there's pump one 
and pump three, and then this one has pump two and pump four. Uh, but taking a closer look here, you can see the pump on the side, which you just lift out, and then you can just, you know, put it in a car. I don't believe any of the cars that they sell have holes for you to, like, insert these into, so you just kind of have to use your imagination. But then it just slides right back in here when you're done. Uh, you can take a look here. It says 45.68L for liters. We do gallons over here in the States, but most other places do liters for whatever reason. I guess metric. Um, now this says regular, and then if you turn... Now, I can't 100% figure out what that says. It looks like Hayuk. So, maybe Hayuk. Oh, high octane maybe? High oc. Maybe that's what it is. High octane. And then you can uh, scroll around to the green one. Which I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't read those kanji. But I think it's neat. That's how you can choose the three different kinds of gas. Just like over here, we have uh, regular, plus, and I guess super. I'm not really sure. I always get regular. So, uh, And then you can see there's a little thing here. Uh, it says self-card. So I assume that's like using your credit card to pay. So you push that in, like, you know, to read your card. And that's obviously uh, available on both sides. You just push it through. Very simple mechanism there. But I think that's kind of cool. So that's it for the gas pumps. But I feel like they're effective. They do what they need to do. And they have some nice detail. Um, back here we have the car wash. And you can see these are all stickers, by the way. Uh, everything on here. This, this, and this. Inside the dial is not a sticker, but everything else is. On the car wash, it's one, two, three stickers. And basically how this works, I believe I have a car around here somewhere. Here we go. You would put the car in. And then you just, let me move this. Move this back and forth. And how it works is you can see, hopefully you can see, it's kind of hard to notice, but you can see the little foam pieces in here that actually do rotate around as you move this back and forth. And that simulates washing the car, which I think is pretty neat. It's a pretty simple feature, but I think it works. Uh, the last thing we have here is the service room. Which you can press the button on top to open the doors. So it is kind of like, they call it a service room, but it is kind of like where you would pay for your gas and if you wanted to buy snacks or drinks or anything. In the back here, I know it's hard to see, but that sticker on the wall back there is like a cooler of drinks. And there's a clock above. And there's a little table and chair in there. I know it's very hard to see. Maybe I can shine some extra light in here. Maybe. That's a little better. Let's see if I can get it to focus. There we go. So you can see there's like a rack of magazines. And that's car maintenance stuff. So I assume that's like cans of oil or... Oops. Focus. There we go. Uh, so I think it's kind of neat. Now there is a little door on the side here that you can open to get the figure in behind the counter. Unfortunately, there is no foothold for him behind the counter. I would have really liked that. I mean, it's almost impossible to get him back there as it is just because it's such a confined space. But it can be done. And then all you do is you see there's two little pegs right there. And they fit into these two little pegs on the top. So, and then they just sit on top of the two posts for the pumps. It just sits on top of there. There's no peg. But it's a nice looking gas station. It has some nice features. You can have the cars drive up on the ramp here. on the, Or I should say the opening built into the sidewalk. And then have them pull up to the pump. And like I said, you know, they don't have anywhere to actually plug this in. But you just pretend. Use your imagination. And then you can have them drive around. The only thing is it's a little hard to drive around to the back to get into the car wash. And then you just 
have them washed. Oops. So like I said, you can easily change these around if you wanted to do something like uh, have the pumps be vertical and then maybe it would be a little bit easier to get back there but then you could have the cars like this or if you had some more sidewalk pieces you could put the car wash over here and put a sidewalk piece here how the sidewalk pieces work they're very simple they just have a little tab here and then like a spot for so basically you just put it on top or underneath so you could lift this up and then it just sits there like that. So maybe put the pumps that way and then put your car wash facing this way, something like that. Again, it's completely up to you. You can do whatever you want. The only thing I complain about is with this configuration, there's no way to link. It's just two large tray pieces and there's no way to link them together because all they have is the part or the connection that can clip on to an extended piece. They don't have any extended pieces themselves. I kind of wish it had like one extended piece up here and then one connect, one extended piece down here so that you could put them on and they would link together as well. But unfortunately, they don't have that. So you can connect this to this and then you would connect this one here. And unfortunately, that's the only way they connect. But overall, I think it's a pretty neat little gas station set. I believe they made a gas station in the newer line, but I kind of prefer this one for the reasons I've already stated. You have some nice big signs back here. These are one big sticker, so a little difficult to apply them, but not too bad. So yeah, overall, I kind of like this a lot. I think it's neat to have a gas station uh, for your Atomica Town. If you can't find this one anymore, uh, like I said, I do believe there is one in the new Build City line. I'm not 100% sure how much it differs from this, but obviously it would have that um, peg hole and peg situation going on, which is kind of indicative of the new line, and you would not get a figure. Only this one would come with a tiny figure, because they've kind of phased them out, and that's another reason I kind of prefer the older ones, just because I think they were fun, and I don't know why they wanted to get rid of them, but they kind of did. So I think this is a really fun set. Like I said, I definitely prefer the older version of Tomica Town to the newer Build City versions. That's just personal preference. You might love the new Lego-ish design where you can really just pull anything off and connect it in different ways. It's all personal preference. I think these are still around while they are the older version. I think they're still available. I got mine on Amazon Japan. Now, it was quite some time ago that I got mine. I've only got around to reviewing it now, but... I think they're still around. I think you can still find them if you just check out something like um, Amazon Japan. Maybe, I don't think Hobbylink has these kind of things anymore, but maybe some other stores that you know might. I'm sure there are more uh, Japanese toy retailers on the web than I know of personally. <laughs> so hunt around. If you Google search it, I'm sure you could probably find it if you prefer this older version like I do. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like and share this video and please subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you guys have enjoyed this look at the Tomica Town Gasoline Stand Aeneas from Tomica. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching.